So here's a quick tip when you're drafting and you haven't got a planar surface to use as a neutral plane. What we mean by that is, let's take this object. Now I want to take this top face and draft this downwards at an angle. But we're going to hit some problems when we do this. If we look at this, we have got a non-planar face here. So you can see that's a curve. It's not all on one plane. If this was flat, it would be. And the same at the back as well. So we've got a non-planar face here. It's on a curve. So if I drafted the top of this by coming in and clicking the top, selecting that face and using the draft or come out to part design, apply dress up and draft. You can see we can draft this face quite easily by changing the angle of the draft. But you'll see in this case, we have this angle going this way which is not what I want. So I don't want this angle of this face going like this. To stop it, we select a neutral plane. So using neutral plane, we can stop a face from moving. So for instance, I can come around and select this face, but it has to be planar. Now the clue is in the name neutral plane. If we can't find a plane for this object, then we can create one. And this is where, if I cancel out of here, the datum plane comes in handy. So I've got my object, and I'm gonna make sure nothing's selected and add the datum plane or datum plane. We'll add that in. And now we've got to select some kind of reference for this. I can use an edge or some vertices. I'm going to select this edge here and it runs down here. It's already saying selecting. If it doesn't, it'll say something like reference one. Click on reference one and then select the edge. I've missed the edge there and selected the face. If that happens, just delete out what's in the field, hit selecting again and come in and select that edge. Making sure reference one is selected, saying selecting and select that edge. Now it's selected, I'm going to use Inertia 2 free, and then come down and rotate it. So I want to rotate this, this way. So going up this way or coming out this way. So if we look at the axis cross here, you can see that the X runs this way, and this is where I want to rotate it. So around the X, you can see that there. Let's use 90 degrees. And we've got the plane in there. So now when we add the draft, let's come in, make sure nothing's selected, or we can select the top, add the draft. At the moment showing preview, I want this face here, so I'll click it. Face five is in there, hit preview, and we'll add some angle. And we can see how that's been moved down, but it's still at an angle there. So when we hit neutral plane and select the datum plane and start adding our angle, let's try reverse direction. There we go. We're getting a nice straight angle there. So you can see we don't get that twisting of that surface. Also, if I hit OK, the plane's angle Staten plane here can be modified as well. So let's come into the attachment, look at the angle, and we can adjust the angle by pressing the up and down arrow key. And you can see the angle of the datum plane is actually moving there, changing angle. And I'm going to hit edit, refresh, or control R on the keyboard. This will differ depending on what operating system that you're using. And you can see that's changed in there. So we have full control of that angle with the datum plane as well. And you can see that there. And I've gone into error at the moment. Let's come back out. There we go. And we can adjust that to wherever we want. So I hope that's given you some tips around using the datum plane as a neutral plane with the draft. It really opens up that feature, allowing you to use drafts with neutral planes as non-planar surfaces.
Thanks a lot for watching, and I hope to see you again soon. If you like what you see and you want to donate to the channel, then you can do so via Ko-Fi or Coffee at ko-fi.com forward slash M-A-N-G-0 or via PayPal at paypal.com forward slash paypal me forward slash Darren B. E. Stone. I also run a Patreon where you can get early access and additional content. And that's at patreon.com forward slash mango jelly solutions. Links can be found in the channel header on the about page or in the descriptions of these videos. I thank everybody that's donated so far. It really helps to keep the lights on so I can produce more content and also expand the channel. Thank you for liking, commenting and subscribing to these videos and I hope to see you again in the next one.